thing when you're like hugging someone and I don't know where it's just like you know like your concert highlight is like right there on their white shirt and I'm, you're just like Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally filming my Ulta haul. A couple days ago I did snap that I was at Ulta and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a haul and a lot of you guys were like, um, yeah. Today is actually New Year's Eve but I will be uploading this video in 2017 so this is my first video in 2017. I'm so excited for all the positive things that are about to come. I'm so grateful for the year of 2016. I feel like in 2016 I had a lot of self growth. I really developed a lot more love for myself which is something that I had to work on for a very long time. I got very close knit with my family. I have a great relationship, lovely friends and I'm really happy at my job. Not only that but I actually managed to get really good grades last semester which I am very happy and blessed for. I just feel very very positive vibes for 2017 and I'm just hoping for the same for all of you. I hope that you guys had a great New Year's Eve, New Year's Day and I only wish the best for you all. I also want to say thank you for supporting me in my channel. We are at 43,000 subscribers which is insane. I feel very blessed and yeah, I'm gonna keep rambling if I keep talking about all the things I'm grateful for because there's a laundry list. Thanks to you guys, thanks to my family. Ugh. So I'm gonna start with Ulta. I first got off the Shea Moisture, I first got off, I first got the Shea Moisture Tahitian Noni and Manoi Smooth and Repair Nourishing Hair Mask. It has keratin, peptides, and botanical extracts. This is for wavy, curly, frizzy hair. You guys are probably like, what are you talking about? Girl, this is flat ironed. I have like, the curliest, most unmatchable hair ever, and it's so big and puffy. Not only did I want it because of everything that it said it like does, but it smells really good, and it's like a weird, more lotion-y type of consistency, which I don't normally see in hair conditioners. They mostly look like, like shampoo or something, but this one feels really nice. It's an intensive treatment that deeply conditions your hair for moisture, for repairing frizziness and flyaways, and controlling um, frizz and maintaining smooth hairstyles. So I saw amazing reviews on the Ulta app. I actually pulled up the Ulta app when I was there in front of like the conditioning hair section and I was like, this one had the best reviews and it was only like 10 bucks, so I was like, give it the way. I also picked up another one of my Neutrogena Rapid Clear Severed Acne daily leave-on mask. I use this either as a primer or I'll use it at nighttime. This is one of my favorite um, treatments for acne and it's from the drugstore. I just think it's amazing. It's so lightweight and it really does help keep my skin clear and treat my acne. I really like it. When I have like really, really um, stubborn breakouts or it's like that time of the month, I'll apply this and just, you know, apply it for a couple days, leave it on at night or put it on underneath my makeup. I feel like it protects my skin, keeps it clear. It is lovely. From the same line, I can't talk, same line. I don't know what I'm saying. From the same line, I got the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Cleanser. I really like Neutrogena cleansers, and I think that this would work pretty well for me to keep my skin clear. Right now, I'm using a Murad one that's like $36, and I was like, this is only 10 bucks, so if it works just as good as my Murad one, I might repurchase this one again, but we will see. I picked up another one of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I got the color Light. This is like my perfect true to color shade. I love this concealer. It is the best concealer that I have used. I used to only use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and that is it. That was so bad for my under eye area, but I love Tarte in general because they have a more natural brand and they don't have such harsh ingredients and not only that but the coverage on this guy is insane like sometimes I'm like doing my makeup in front of my videos or even like at my house and I look like blend it out and I'm just like that coverage is insane it looks completely porcelain like you look so perfect underneath the eyes I know this is overly hyped but it's actually a hype that I'm like you know what hop on that bandwagon and ride it out I need backups like Tarte don't get rid of this do not get rid of this 
I picked up some Essence Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I got the shade 01 Blondie Brows and 03 Soft Brownie Brows. <laughs> How cute. These were only like two bucks and I really liked it. I did try it in store and I was so impressed because it kept my eyebrows really, really nice in tats and I have a lot of blonde in my hair so it's really hard for me to find a good brow gel that won't make them look too dark or make them look almost like sparkly caramel. I know the Anastasia one has like glitter in it. I don't understand why, but it is way too like yellow gold glittery on my eyebrows. I don't like it. I'm sorry. But this stuff is actually pretty good because it has more of an ashy undertone. It doesn't look super red on my skin. I don't know if it's just me, but my fair skin makes everything else look muddy and red, especially on my eyebrows. I've always had such a hard time finding a good color for my brows because I prefer more ashy tones. So I picked Hello Lashes, four days. I got the Ardell 600s. These are beautiful, wispy lashes that really open up your eyes. And they look like the MAC 35 lashes because they're so spaced out and wispy and they make your eyes look like doll eyes, super open. And I also picked up the 13s, the what 13s. These are my favorite lashes for like every day. You don't feel them on your eyes and they just really elongate you. And you guys know that I prefer more of like an almond shaped eye. And these, since they are from shorter to longer, they look so nice. And with these Ardell lashes, the band is super thin, so you don't feel it at all. I know for like House of Lashes, Coco Lashes, Violet Boss, they're my favorite lashes in the entire world for dramatic looks, but for every day, the band is way too thick and it kind of hurts my eyes. I'm very sensitive too, so. Highly recommend Ardell and Kiss Lashes. Kiss Lashes are very good. Another hair care product I picked up is my Everyday Shampoo. It is my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. This is for thick, curly hair. One of my favorite shampoos ever. It smells like, oh, so good. I go through this like crazy, like I run out of this bottle in like a month and a half maybe. But it cleans my hair so well. It makes it so soft. It keeps it frizz free. Very, very very big fan of the Shea Moisture line. So I did pick up the Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy Fragrance. They were having a 20% off at Ulta, which is the only reason that I picked it up. I wouldn't have picked it up full price because, I don't know, I, think I have so many fragrances. I told myself that I wasn't going to buy another fragrance, but let the alone I did. But you guys are about to see what really got me. What really sold me. Can we just have a moment? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Not to mention, I'm obsessed with puff balls. Every keychain, I have a puff ball. My purse has a puff ball. My backpack, I... <gasps> and it smells so good. So yes, I am a sucker for packaging, but I... I fell in love with the scent. It's such a really beautiful, everyday scent. Oh, I just, I'm obsessed with it. I can't say enough good things. I'll insert the notes right here somewhere on the screen so that you guys can see because I can't describe scents for the life of me. Shoot, I got my lip gloss on it. it. I'm putting it down, I'm putting it down. I'm gonna put it right here. So next up, I did pick up a couple goodies at Sephora. Um, some were gifted to me, so I'll start off with those. This was a very sweet gift from my boyfriend, but it is the Urban Decay Ultimate Basic Eyeshadow Palette and the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. This is from the new Too Faced uh, Sweet Peach Collection. It smells divine. I'm sure everybody talks about how well it smells, but it really does smell so good. It smells like straight light peach rings and I have all the eyeshadows which blend beautifully but I used the blush today and at first I didn't think it was going to be so pigmented and it had a little bit of a sheen so I was kind of worried I thought it would be a good everyday blush but this packed on I was like okay Too Faced I did not know that they had such pigmented blushes because I've had a couple of other blushes from them from the past and they're very natural but this one I literally just put a little bit and I, I immediately grabbed my powder brush and started blending because I was like oh my god it's a pretty color it's so nice but it wasn't an overpowering color that it like 
contrasted with my eyes, which are very dramatic right now, I think this one would be perfect for every day, for dramatic looks, for smoky eyes, for warm looks, for cool toned looks like this one. Good job, Too Faced. I am very impressed with this. And another one is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Eyeshadow Palette. At first when I saw this palette, I said, you know what, I don't want it. It's a little bit too basic for me. I feel like I own all of these colors and I wasn't very impressed with it. But I kept using it on clients at my job and I was very very shocked at how easy it blended on them. A lot of people that I worked with had very dry eyelids or maybe the colors um, that I've used prior to trying to you know, blend out their smoky eye or whatever just wasn't working and it was looking patchy. You immediately put these on and it makes everything look smooth airbrush and I've been addicted to using this. I used it on my eyes today. I used it on my last tutorial. I can't say enough good things. If you guys need a good set of matte eyeshadows, highly recommend this. It has from your cool tones to your warm tones, really nice, like more highlighting, setting shades. Doesn't really have any shimmers. That black is bomb. This plum shade, I'm living for it. The only reason that I really wanted this palette, and of course, a rusty orange that looks good on any skin tone. Any skin tone. So, thank you to my baby for this gift. And look at that packaging. So reflective. So pretty. My last purchase was a, another pickup of my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I'm wearing this foundation right now and I have run so low on my last stick. It's literally like right there and that's all I have to say for myself and I'm freaking out if I do run out. This is my favorite foundation stick because it gives me such great coverage. It photographs and looks really good on camera, in photos. And it's just bomb. I think that every time someone tells me that they have dry skin and they want full coverage foundation, I immediately will just go for my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. I'll tell everyone, I'm like, have you tried this before? They're like, I don't do creams. Why is it a stick? And I'm like, just, just let me put it on your face. And then, and then you can tell me how much you love it. <laughs> Alright you guys, so this concludes my Ulta and a little bit of a Sephora haul. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Once again, Happy New Year's. I only wish the best for every single one of you guys in 2017. And thank you for joining me on my journey in 2016 for my YouTube channel and my makeup artistry. Now we are moving to 2017 together and it's just one big old happy family. So thank you for all of that. I've met so many of you guys recently in the last couple of months and I don't think you guys know how happy it makes me when you guys tell me that you watch my videos and this also goes for like my friends and my family that say that they also watch my videos or they learn new techniques. It always catches me off guard because you know I forget that there are so many kind and supportive people out there and I put out this content because I just want everyone to learn how fun and easy it is to put on makeup, to get the same joy that I get from putting it on, to not be insecure about your skills and to realize that it's all about practice, making it perfect. I certainly am not perfect at putting on makeup at all, but the few tricks, tips and tricks I know, I'll let you guys know. And I don't know, it's cute because we learn together. A lot of my subbies like also leave really helpful comments that I learn from or recommend me awesome products. I just really like my YouTube channel, I really like my subscribers, and I feel like the vibe from everyone here is just so kind and positive. I see you guys helping each other out too in comments, kind of replying to each other, and if there's ever any negativity, it's shut down so quick because either I respond to it or my subbies are like, hey stop, you know? So, I don't know, I just, I really, really enjoy putting out videos for all of you guys. Alright, enough sappy moment, I'm going to end my video now, I love you. Oh, what? Have a